our great school song again signaling the start of another edition of elvin cast welcome it's mr itu here the school council plays a very important role at arc elvin academy it ensures that the views and opinions of our pupils are taken into consideration when the school makes key decisions it also ensures that all pupils play an active part as we continue building a great school today ali talks to the president of our school council maya ashburn maya plays an important role in ensuring that the views of every child at elvin are heard by the school's leadership team i hope you enjoy this episode here it goes Welcome to the Elvin Cast, Maya. We are happy to talk with you today. It's been a while since we've, you know, done an episode of the Elvin Cast, and we are delighted to talk with you today. So our first question is, why did you choose to run for president? What is it that inspired you to approach it? Um, hi, I would like, I just chose to run for president because I want to be the person that can be the pupil's voice in our Kelvin and voice their opinions and thoughts. At yeah. first, I was scared to run for the president for um, school president, but then Mr. Itu brought to light how I could help my students and peers, and I thought that would be a fun idea. But now that I've run for it and I am president, I wouldn't look back. Yeah, I think you're doing a great job so far. Uh, next question is, do you have any ideas or plans you'd like to change in our school as president? Um, in, our, in the school, I do have a couple of ideas. Um, one idea is that I would like to make sure that um, that the students, if possible, could take a break during the double period because I understand that it can be very exhausting yeah. and sometimes they lose focus. I also would like to fix the school lunches, which is which is one of the first things that we tackled together as school council. And finally, I would also wanted to work with teachers to make sure that the school is a better place in general and a fun learning environment for them. I think that's great. I hope to see those plans come uh, true. What, else, what is something you would like to change in the world, like climate change or poverty, etc.? One thing that I'd like to change in the world would have to be climate change, because I think overall that is one of the main things and one of the main factors that is affecting us the most, including um, poverty is a very um, important as well. But I think the fact that climate change, we're, we're slowly killing ourselves in general because we're losing trees, which affects, our, which obviously we need trees for oxygen. Yeah. And in addition to that, we're just slowly killing the animals in our environment as well. So we're being really selfish and not thinking about um, the other animals that live in our world as well. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, next question is, what are some of your ambitions or passions that you'd like to do when you leave Arc Elvin? Uh, one goal that I'm striving to achieve currently is to go to university. I'd like mm. to go to University of Birmingham and become a physiotherapist. So that is my main goal at the moment. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, next question is, why do you think mental health is important and why in school should we be aware of it? Mental health is important because it affects how we think and feel and act, which can also which can take a, bit, a good impact on how we learn in school. Because if someone isn't uh, mentally in the right space to learn, it will negatively impact them in the future because they may miss out on key content. In addition to this, that it can also have a of impact on how we socialize with others so we may come yeah. across aggressive or be alone and I think that the school should um, work together with us to recognize and support those that need it and that are going through a rough time. Yeah and I just add what do you think of place to be like in our school? Like, I think that place to be is a great place that the school has put together because it's a safe space for students that if they're upset or feeling um, some sort of negative emotion that they would like to express, yeah. place to be is a space where they can go and recollect their thoughts and speak to the teachers about what's happening. And I just generally think it's a great idea because I think it makes our school in general a better and happy, happier place. Yeah. 
What advice would you give to young Elven students who may be unsure about their future ambitions or aspirations? One piece of advice that I'd give is don't be afraid if you don't know what you want to be yet. Not everyone mm. knows what they want to be right now and that's okay because we still have our whole lives ahead of us to yeah. make decisions to get what what well to find out what we like and what we want to do and i'd also say when it comes to choosing your gcse options specifically don't choose what your friends would choose because you need to do what's best for you and for your future yeah i nearly fell into that trap i'm glad i, st I stuck with history yeah. <laughs> uh what is your favorite subject and why um my favorite subject overall would be biology because I really enjoy learning about diseases and anatomy. However, I don't really study that right now, but yeah. That's interesting to hear. Uh, next question is, what books do you enjoy reading and why do you think it's important that everyone should read? I like, in my spare, in my spare time, I do quite a lot of reading. I like to read fantasy, romance. Sometimes I do read the occasional non-fiction non -fiction books to gain more knowledge. Yeah. But I think it's really important that we read because it can help develop when we're um, to help develop our vocabulary and widen our vocabulary, which is yeah. really useful when it comes to speaking in a professional manner to um, in jobs and when completing our GCSEs, especially um, English literature. Yeah. Uh, can I just ask, what's your favourite book? My favourite book is The Art of Not Breathing. What's that about? It's about a, a twin. It's about a twin. She lost her twin brother, um, and he drowned in water. So it's a really, it's a really sad book. But she basically finds inner peace through being through free diving, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave the rest if you want to hidden. So if you want to take a look at the book, yeah, I might read that. It sounds yeah. interesting. Uh, why do you think education is important? Education is important because it's the foundation step towards going where you want to be. Like for like for, for example, especially with GCSEs, it's, it's good to strive to get the best that you can get because it will set you up for the rest of your life from going to sixth form or college and then on from universities. However, I wouldn't yeah. stress the fact that if you don't get the grades you don't want, don't be upset or stressed because yeah. it's not the end of the world because you can always have other options such as like BTEC. Yeah, I think people should realise that, you know, if you don't get what you want straight away, there's always, you know, another chance for you to get it. Yeah, yeah. so I totally agree with that. Um, next question is, who are your role models and why have they inspired you? For me, I've had many role models in my life. They vary depending on what stage of my life that I'm in. Um, mainly my role models, I'd say, are my friends and my family, because when I've, I admire the fact that the way they handle situations in life and how they always have a positive attitude and don't want to give up. So I try to embed that in my life. I like to be the happiness around people. So yeah. That's really nice to hear. Last question is, what sports do you enjoy and why? Uh, I thoroughly really enjoy netball and athletics, specifically sprinting. Um, I just find them fun really. It's a good, it's, I like this, especially with netball, I like the fact that it's a team sport and I get to work with others. Whereas yeah. sprinting, I just always loved running since I was younger, so yeah. Are you going to take netball to like a next step in your life or? Is it just a hobby? Currently, it is just a hobby. I don't think I'd want to take it further, but I would like to include it more in my life than I do now. Well, thank you for your time here today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our talk with you. Thank, thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Elvin Cast. I hope you enjoyed that interview. We hope to see you again very soon. Here's our school song again. Bye-bye.